What's good, YouTube? My name is Mark. And my name is Alexis. And this is our YouTube channel called The Couples, Couples Corner. Corner. Um, today we're going to be talking about um, this eventful week that we just experienced in Texas. Um, our experiences, um, we like to send our prayers and condolences to people that we lost during this week um, due to the record winter, setting winter storm, winter storm the temperatures. Um, but before we get into it, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the um, channel. And um, when you hit that bell, when you hit that bell, you'll get the notification when we, whenever we do drop a video. Um, but first, let me address something real quick. We recently had to take a video off the moral dilemma because someone, I don't know the person's name, had a problem, and it was a couple other people that had a problem with the content of what was said. Um, it was brought to my attention both times. The first time I saw the response from one of the people that watches us, we appreciate you watching. Um, and think about it is, it's one thing to try to educate someone, but it's another thing to the way you deliver it. Um, of course, she was she was just speaking from how she felt about the situation. We didn't mean to offend anybody in no sort of way or anything like that. But I'm letting you know now, and this is from me, we will we'll be careful what we talk about and how we deliver it. But I'm not, and I repeat, will not erase another video. That I will not be doing. If you don't like what we say, just say, just, if you want to say something, just respectfully disagree or do not comment at all. Well, okay. So, again, you take it up with me if you have issue. But again, I am not dropping, I'm not erasing another video. Point blank, period. So. Let's get to the experience, shall we? Okay. <laughs> um, um, so, you want to start? Oh, I guess. Or, or you want me to start? So, a little background here. Um, Mark is from New York, right? So, he's a northerner. So, he's used to cold weather, right? So, you know, when they said that we were going to get, you know, 20s. I'm not going to lie to you. When they said we were going to get weathers... In the teens, I didn't believe it because sometimes um, the meteorologists are a little off. Um, so I was kind of, you know, a little skeptical at first. And I was like, hmm, okay, you know, it'll just be really cold and it's not going to get that bad. And, you know, I'm just going to bundle up, right? Mm -hmm. So the when was, what was the first night that it got really cold? The first Monday, night was Tuesday. like... Oh, it was, it was, the was like it was like the weekend because it was like it started oh like getting, Sunday it got cold like okay, Saturday so like Sunday. last Sunday Saturday it started getting cold or whatever and we start having to sleep with the heater on which me I'm a hot nature person so if I'm cold it's cold so she kept taking stuff off putting stuff back yeah because I was just like I don't know what to do right now because you know in Texas we don't know whether to wear flip flops or cowboy boots or you know a cut off shirt or you know a hoodie we don't know. Because our weather is it's not, it's not that consistent, you know. So, I was kind of like, you know, it'll probably be back to the 70s next, you know, in the next couple of days. So, then it slowly, slowly drops, right? So, I don't remember what day it was. Was it like Monday or Tuesday? Sunday, we had snow. No, so the day that we looked outside and it was on that thing. Yeah, was Sunday. Sunday. So, we looked outside. The ground covered the stairway covered in front of our doors covered everything covered yeah. i'm telling you we had to block the door off with a towel still was cold in this mug it was freezing and mark was chilling like it wasn't shit and i was like and he was like well you know yeah 
And I was like, what? What you mean? Yeah. Like, what? He was like, I mean, it's, it's, it's 20 degrees, you know? I'm like, what? <laughs> like, I'm looking at him like he lost his damn mind. And then I was like, oh, yeah. You know, and at first I ain't gonna lie, we used to get into it because he was like, y'all ain't, you know, we still gotta go to work. And I'm like, but you gotta realize that our our state is not used to this kind of weather at all. Mm -hmm. So we're not prepared. But should we get prepared in case things happen? Yes, I do agree. I think we should. And I think this has taught us a major lesson because we did not know all the things that would occur, you know, with the whole... What do they call it? Rolling outages? Power outages? Yeah, power outages. We had power outages. Some people had... Uh, the water was going... The water pressure was going low. The water pressure people was had low. No water. People didn't have no water. People couldn't flush the toilet. Um, I'm not going to lie. You know... I feel like even we went through a little bit. God has God has extremely blessed me. Because we didn't lose power until like Tuesday night. And then, um, when we lost power, I, you know, I kind of like was like, oh, let me see. Then I went to my dad's house. And then when we went over there, you know, he had a gas stove and he had water. So I was like, at least I can take a shower and get some hot food. Then his electricity came back on. And we was like, we're crossing Wednesday, our fingers. Like, Wednesday night. Wednesday night. And we was like, please, please just don't, don't go back on. Like, who's just like, please stay off, please? Yeah. And his girlfriend was like, oh, my God. I just need to charge my tablet in my phone so I can watch my show. Yeah. <laughs> and it just, like, showed you, like, in life, we take things for granted. Like, all we really need is, like, electric, like, food, you know, water, you know? And we really, really take things for granted, you know? So I, I definitely learned to not take things for granted because... You know, like he said earlier, you could have, we could have lost somebody. It were a couple of deaths during this situation, and you know, it could have easily been somebody we knew or somebody we were related to. So, like he said, condolences to the families, and we just hope that this is taught. You know, Texas, everybody who got to do with electricity and the Senate and all them, whatever, we need to prepare because we don't know what's gonna happen. And we could, this could have easily been catastrophic and it was, it could have been worse. We could have not had electricity permanently. I mean, who knows? Or like for weeks or no water for like weeks or months. And it's really, really a sad situation. It, it, it just, it just brought things into perspective for me. You know, um, I've been through a couple, we've been through a couple of things. You know, first it was COVID. Then it was now freezing our ass off like i mean it's it's like yeah i would never ever complain about another summer in texas ever i'm gonna just be hiding i'm just gonna take it because I'm, i can't because i was i was freezing freezing in the dark freezing no matter how much clothes i had on i was freezing and i'm just i'm just thankful that it it wasn't you know it could have been worse but I mean, for all the families out there still struggling, I, you know, we hope there's some assistance soon. You know, we, you know, we're going to do what we can. I mean, this has really taught us a lot. What is, what is, what about you? Your perspective of it? Um, that was my perspective. So, <laughs> okay, so. When I heard of the news of this winter, I was like, of course, I was skeptical. I'm like, there's no way it's going to get this cold down here because I've been off and on coming down here for like about 10 years. But I've been here consistently for four. Almost yeah, it's, four. It's about to, yeah, it's about to be four. Yeah, about to be four in August. So I've been consistently down here for almost four years. Um, so I'm like, no, there's no way. And if it is... Because I used to make a joke about, like, every time it get cold, the whole city going to shut down. Yeah, we used to always talk, talk about us. And I'm like... 
Now, do you feel bad for saying that now? It should have like, I guess it was me being ignorant to this to the situation, but at the same time, it's just like, from where I came from, that's how I perceived it. It was just like. You you're cutting off and salt and you yeah. I feel like y'all fix. would be at least a little he bit. He thought it would be an easy fix, but because um, it's like which was, honestly we should be regardless of whatever kind of weather we have. Like we should, we just should be. You know what I'm saying? Because if you if you hear that a storm is going to be coming, you're supposed to be preparing yourself. But the thing is, Texas. Well, I mean, I just feel like in general, as a people, pre- people probably we do stuff at the last minute. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like. If you don't believe something, you kind of like, oh, I, I see it when it happened. Like, that's the thing. And that's the problem. Like, you should just be prepared in general. Like, mm. now everybody is thinking like, okay, I'm just going to have a generator. I'm just going to have, you know, it's just making you think like what you need to do in case of something like this happens again. Or, you know, like, for example, when hurricane season comes, you already have your generator. You know, you know, you, you know, you need to have canned food. Like, it's just, it's just certain things that just, you would think it would be common sense, but... So I I, I I I I apologize for being insensitive about that. I mean, I, I know, know the, you, I know you was joking. I know I was joking. The thing about it is I was never in. It was never malicious from how, why I was saying it, saying that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um. So like when it happened, it started getting cold Saturday. It was slow. Wait, it started getting a little bit cold Friday. And then it got colder Saturday, and then it snowed Saturday night into like Sunday morning. Because when we woke up, Alexis rolled out of bed, and she, of course, she's shivering, and she's looking at the window. She's like, "Oh no!" And then I was like, "What? What's, what's up?" And she was like, "It's snow on the ground," and I'm like. You lying. And then you got all the kids outside playing in it. They don't feel cold, apparently, because all of us was just like yeah. in the house. But all the kids was like, yay. Oh my God, snowball. And I was like, no. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to get up. He, me and him, was trying to get some hot chocolate, trying to be under the cover. We weren't trying. Because he said he came down here to get away from it. That's why he came down here, you know. Uh, so, of course, he's not going to expect no snow down here because he came down here to get away from this shit. So, yeah. but yeah, Man, it was like it world. was like completely unexpected. I thought I was tripping. I was like, it's no way that this is ice on the ground. It's no way. It's no fucking way. And, and it was. And it was like the water pressure started going down. And then, other than that, I had bad news that I received Monday. Mm-hmm. Was it Monday or Tuesday? I think it was Monday. Mo- I think it was Monday. No, I thought it was Tuesday. Was it Monday? I think it was Monday. It, it, was, it was Monday. Either, it, was, it was earlier this week. Mm-hmm. So this week. Um, so, so he had to deal with that. On top I had to of. deal with. I had to deal with that and um, deal with that, and then trying to um, survive, trying to figure out what will be our next move. Mm-hmm. So we try to go to the stores. It was packed. Um, try to, we did get some stuff before, beforehand, which was a great idea because Thursday, last Thursday, we went food shopping because mm-hmm. Alexa was like, listen, I'd rather go Thursday than Friday. Mm-hmm. So, um, so we went food shopping. So we was some, we was basically somewhat prepared, basically prepared. Uh, we picked up more stuff. Um, on was it su- Sunday or was it Saturday mm. or was it Monday? It was one of those days. It's one of them days. It's one of the one of those days, and like going towards Walmart, there was lines, um, and like every it seemed like everybody was so scared to drive, and I'm like, yeah, because like at the lights, you know, the lights were out, or some of yeah. them were out. So everybody was driving like 50 miles, 15 miles per hour. I'm not going to lie to you. And Mark was like, and was, I mean, I, I guess because we don't know how to drive in ice, like on the ground. So mm-hmm. he was just like, wow. I was kind of surprised too. Like, damn, everybody's driving like 15. But I get it because I saw the video. I think it was Dallas or Fort Worth or something. They were sliding and it was a lot of accidents. So, I mean, I get it. I definitely get it. 
Like, I mean, don't speed at all. But, um, it was just a lot. It was, it was, I've never seen my city like this. I've never seen my Houston like this. So, yeah, we, like I said, we apologize for everything that, for everybody that's had heartbreak, everybody that's going through a lot. Cause this has been, and this is only Friday. Mm -hmm. We recorded this on Friday. So, this is, like I said, this is fresh. Mm -hmm. Um, so like between that and then what we did finally go into the store, canned goods all were gone. all the meat was gone or the supermarkets threw out their meat because, because it went bad. It spoiled. Mm -hmm. um, and there it was no like, generators. We tried to look for generators, no generators. It's and like all the like Popeyes, all the stores that serve hot food, if they were open, they the lines, lines were around wrapped the around wrapped around the corner. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and it was just a mess and it's just like we got there we lost power and the water finally went out Tuesday mm -hmm. Tuesday. Tuesday, night. Tuesday night we lost power at 1040 on Tuesday night um, and I don't, I'm not sure when it came back on because the next day my dad was like I mean y'all can come over I mean I don't have power but I have a gas stove and I have water so I was like okay that's cool you, we used some big ass lanterns we could see you know we was cool I just wanted to take a hot ass shower I just want to take a hot shower because I was like man I like showers I like being clean so at the moment I was concerned more about me eating in a shower <laughs> so I went and then when we went over there we went so you know we laid down we was about to go to bed and then all of a sudden, I heard his alarm system was like, power, something, something. And I was like, oh, it's <laughs> something back on. And first thing, they was like, let me charge my stuff up. Let me charge my stuff yeah. up. Because yeah. it's like, you just never know. Like, it's like somebody was playing peekaboo with, with the light switch. And I was just like, man. I mean, I know that's not what was happening, but. Mm -hmm. And then you. <sighs> you just didn't know what was going to happen. And it's like, I appreciate everybody who checked on me. Oh yeah, and same so I Everybody who checked on us, I remember. I miss. I appreciate everybody who checked on us, basically, and made sure we was good. Mm -hmm. And I checked on a few people, you know, I made sure they was good. And everybody who have, who has, you know, children to think about, you know, I hope y'all good. Everybody who's pipe bursted, I hope y'all get the help y'all need. Um, you know, it's just it puts things in perspective. You know, it's like, you know. It just really tests your survival skills, basically. It just feels like we're in Survivor right now. You know, we was in Jumanji at first, and now we're in Survivor. I don't know what's next. I'm scared. Yeah, I don't know. So it's, um, it's been crazy. It's been a crazy... few days. Like, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so... And it's still cold right now. But it's in the 30s. It's not as cold. But it's still cold. Because that's why I got this cold. But it's supposed to go back to the... It's supposed to go... Back to back the 70s, no, next 70s next week. 70s next week. So it was like... It's a shame. All of that. See, Houston said, Hey, <laughs> y'all gonna get y'all whole winner in one week. All right? Okay. Because it wasn't like this in January at all. It was in the 70s in January. Beautiful. Houston... No. That's beautiful. Houston don't have I could take a winner, but I'm talking when I say winner, I'd be like forty five. That's what I mean. Like forty. That's what I mean. I about to say. Um, I'm not saying I want it to be twenty. I'm saying, oh, I want it to be like forties where you know you can still have a little jacket on, be cute with your little with your little boots, with whatever. Uh, but boots, not be freezing what? to the point where you can't even enjoy it because you're freezing. That I that's not what I meant. That's that's not what I meant. And the fact that Going to the stores and stuff like that, seeing a whole bunch of people with pajamas. Oh yeah, and that's the boots. I, I was saw like, a meme. Bro. I saw a meme that said, you know, Texas people, we don't have no and minks. We don't have no winter clothes. Like, we have pajamas and mismatched hoodies. And <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like the jokes online, it helped me through it because you know we know how to make light out of a situation, which is like that's gonna get you through because if you were depressed the whole time. You're not gonna make it. You have to try to stay upbeat. I mean, I know it's easier said than done, but you gotta try to stay upbeat because if you don't, you're gonna lose your mind. So we try to stay upbeat, you know. Yeah, like you know, we're still trying to get past this week and try to be. You just try to get past this week. Um, luckily, like when we came back Wednesday, we had our power came back on when we checked on the apartment. The water pressure was low at first. 
And then when we came back today, um, electricity was still on and the water pressure is still up, but we have to, we can't consume the water. It's only good enough to um, take a shower. Mm -hmm. um, so we're on ball notice right now. Yeah, ball notice. And for the people that have errors with, like, I think Center Point, mm -hmm. there was a customer that had over $200,000 $200, light bill. Light bill. Yeah, something like that. Which is the error, which they said it was an error. But that's still crazy to me because that's. How did your system ring up this person for two hundred? Over two hundred thousand dollars. Guess what? Guess what? Wouldn't be getting. Guess what? Would be getting paid. Two hundred. How? How you gonna pay it? How you gonna pay a six figure light bill? How? But they said it was error. So. But I'm saying, if you got that, if you got that much money to just pay, <laughs> shit. <laughs> so between so, yeah. So basically, law story short, because we don't want to be repeating the same thing. Um, we were blessed to be able to go somewhere um, and not only not just be alone because I, I feel bad for the people that had to deal with yeah, this by alone itself, yeah, by itself. Um, because it was it was it was rough out on these streets um, but you know we, we were blessed to have someone that was able to be like you know what come through we still have stuff we still have amenities um, and um, we're going to make it through together. So that's basically it. But yeah, so again, um, our hearts and prayers go out to people who lost their lives. And um, yeah, this has been one hell of a week. So we just wanted to do this video because this was, it was Alexa's idea to do a video, which was, it's, it's current. current. It's current. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we had another video planned, but and we already had it recorded and everything, but this seems more appropriate mm -hmm. um, to come out with and you know talk about, you know, give our two cents on the situation. Um, but um, if you like this video, again, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell. Mm -hmm. So whenever you do hit that notification bell, you get the notification that we drop a video. Mm -hmm. Also, please uh, follow our me social media uh, handles. It will be in the description or mm -hmm. pop up on the screen. Mm -hmm. Most likely both. Um, and if you have a comment on like, you know, your experience or stuff that you had to go through, you know, just leave it down leave it down there just let us know um if you want to dm us or stuff like that just say experience just share experiences because we just want to be more um transparent with everyone you know we're, we're all humans mm -hmm. so um and again i didn't mean to be so um stern up front in the video but it was just i was i was i was tired of it so because the thing is you know this page is our opinions you know our thing you know and it's like i'm not gonna lie it's a little frustrated when you can't even say anything at all like i mean i get it like he said earlier i should educate myself which i, I agree that's my bad you know but at the end of the day it's my it is my opinion on how i feel about something so and if the person is saying that, okay, maybe that person should get help or something like that, do not bash that person for saying that. Because obviously if she's going, if that person was going through it, if they need help or someone to talk to. Well, I mean, they don't, they like don't know what you're talking about because we deleted it. So. I know, but I'm just saying like, as far as if they What the video help, was pertaining to, what, he, what he's saying is, you know, but anyway, I digress. Yeah. Um. You know, in the future, I'll try to. I will. You know, be more. Figure out how to deliver what they yeah, want to say. I would deliver it differently. Way. You know. Yeah. That's all um, I can say. Real rap raw. That's all I can say. That's PG. <clears throat> so, <laughs> you guys. Um. Thanks for watching. And this is another episode of Couples Corner. Corner. So thank you. Stay safe out there, and um, y'all have a great day, great evening as well. Peace.